I'm not going to do any heavy heavy work today little tinkering jobs and use this video as an update on some of the projects which haven't stalled but are resting at the moment still waiting for it to get nice so we can use this space want to give you an update on the piggery project waiting for a door here a double door to go in here into this opening not that exact opening size but roughly that opening and a window to go there and as with everything we do, we try to do things on a budget and I'm waiting for a similar wooden frame. Uh, they're hardwood that we've got throughout the house. So there's lots of plastic ones that come up secondhand. We don't really want a plastic if we can help it. We'd like to keep it the same. So with that in mind, whenever a hardwood double glazed uh, double leaf door, a, a porte fenêtre, as they say over here, and a fenêtre, a window comes available, uh, I check with the measurements I've got and if it's right, I'll go out straight away and buy it. Uh, some very observant viewers commented about access to the boiler room. So with that door opening, we can, if we need to, get that boiler out. But it's very unlikely it's going to, we're going to replace it. But it can come out if we need to. The tank, however, can't. So the tank will have to be cut out. If we ever need to get rid of the tank, we'll just cut it up and take it out. Kitchen needs, desperately needs a makeover. And that is a project that's been mentioned. We are going to do that. I want to do that in a quite a special way, but with an emphasis on, I won't say cheap, I'll say value. So hopefully if we can find some beautiful buffets, um, it doesn't matter, they don't need to match, um, color doesn't matter, but we need to buy enough of those and they're dirt cheap over here. And the idea is to redo the kitchen using as many uh, elements of these buffets as I can um, and then they'll all be tied together with a, with a colour so we'll paint probably a cream uh, or a light colour for all of the woodwork and the sink will be new and the work surfaces will be new and then once we've added lighting uh, my vision is that we'll have a, a beautiful quality kitchen all the cupboards will be hardwood and it will be seasoned hardwood so very resilient to moisture and it will be finished with a nice tiled back splash and a beautiful work surface and nice appliances. So it should give us a really good quality finish. That's the plan for the kitchen. Won't happen until winter because we're outside now, it's summertime. What we're gonna do is a solid wall there, a solid wall down this elevation, and then there'll be an L-shaped bar on the front here, which will be open up onto the pool side and also onto the seating area here. And then all of poolside really needs an uplift. And it's a beautiful pool, brilliantly installed, no trouble at all. Plant room is over here, great. The pool is fantastic, but it just needs finishing. And there's a couple of things I want to do. Uh, on this end here, the laurel looks lovely. However, it is an absolute nightmare. As the, as the leaves dry and drop, they fall to the bottom and then the wind comes through from the other side and blows all the debris into the pool. So I mentioned the bar, and then we'll have an open end of the bar here with a counter looking onto the pool, and then we'll integrate the shower, which has been taken over by the laurel. That will come in as part of that, so there'll be a screened end, just an open screen here onto the shower. That will look lovely. The view here is ruined by this horrible industrial black fencing, but smaller fence, which is these picket panels here. And we're going to start, we've bought enough just to start this area between here. Between these two boxes, so between this box, this box just here, and this one on the corner, there'll be picket fencing. And then on the back wall there, there'll be a combination of picket fencing and long planter boxes which I'm going to make for Anna to plant out and she's got an idea of the planting scheme for that and then as we go around the same here to the pool heating system and all that area can be tidied up so actually we've got quite a few projects to be getting on with and they'll also be interesting for the channel but one of the easier ones is some LED lighting which we're going to do today so today's project is a rather simple one that doesn't involve a lot of big tools, which is great. It's going to be good on my hands and a quick result. So you've probably noticed we've got a few of these 
solar panel lights. Now, what is it with solar panel lights? They never kind of meet expectations, do they? You went for these. Now they're a, they're a post light, and this, this part comes away. This is the light unit with the battery and the solar panel at the top, and there's just a mounting uh, column. And then there's a spike if you want to put it into the ground, so the spike comes out the bottom like this. We're not going to use those. Uh, and then the top unit comes away. That's actually the solar panel, the bulb, one LED, and the, ba and the battery. And I've just been joined by a chicken who probably wants to lay me an egg. There's a screw hole in here. It just involves driving a screw through the bottom of these onto the handrails and placing the top on like that. We're, we're resigned to the fact that will probably last a year and uh, then we'll replace so we're going to go get those in and uh, then we can show you some pictures tonight what they look like they do provide some quite nice atmospheric lights as i say you're not really going to be able to see to walk with uh, these but um for 279 let's get them on So we just need to wait till darkness now to see how they look. But they should make a nice addition. So obviously night time now and we've just come out to have a quick look. And they actually provide quite a decent local light. Um, the camera doesn't pick it up brilliantly, but you can just about see where you are. <laughs> of course, at the moment we're getting a lot of wash from the pergola, which is throwing a lot of light out into these areas. But it does take the eye out a little bit further. You can see the other areas, but it's not so clear on the camera, unfortunately. But um, just to give you an example, I can make out all the railings and the decking over there, but on the camera here, I can just about see the lights. So, there we are for 2.79 each. They're great value and a dead easy job.